welcome to my youtube channel hope you liked my last video so in today's video i would be showing you in five simple steps how you could copy files from sharepoint document library to on-premise server so here we go step one and step one uh, what you need to do you need to log in into the on-premise server where you need to copy the file uh, after that you need to uh, install on-premise data gateway on this server the, the below link will help you to install this on-premise data gateway after this uh, you need to uh, create a folder on your on-premise server and in my case it's c resume uh, this will be a destination folder in which your file will be copied uh, during this installation process you need to remember two things one is the name of the data gateway that you have used during the time of configuration of this data gateway and second is the account that you have used during the time of configuration of this data gateway let's move to step two in step two uh, you need to open the microsoft flow uh, to open this microsoft flow use https make.powerautomate.com and after that uh, create a flow with trigger when file is created or modified uh, once you add this trigger uh, then you need to select the site address uh, and then the library name this library name will be the like source library name from which document will be copied to the on-premise data gateway uh, once you are done then save this flow and let's move to step three in step three you need to add an action you have already added a trigger that when file is created or modified then after that after saving that uh, trigger then you need to add another action and this action name is get file content in get file content uh, you need to select the site address and after that in file identifier part uh, you just need to click this text box and this pop-up will open from which uh, you will choose the uh, identifier from this dynamic content and once you are done with this step then save the flow and move to step four so this is the main step like in this step add an action called as create file this create file will basically help uh, this document uh, document from the document library to be copied to uh, the uh, destination location that is on-premise uh, server. So once you add this uh, create file, uh, in, in case you are doing this first time, so you need to remember like you need to enter the root URL, root folder, sorry, root folder. In root folder, just uh, give the path of the root folder, then choose the authentication type. Uh, in my case, it's Windows and choose the username and remember I in step one I asked you to copy uh, the username that we are using for configuration of the configuration of uh, Gateway so use the same username uh, that you have used uh, in step one and choose the same gateway uh, that you have uh, uh, Gateway name that you have uh, used in step one. So uh, once you are done then save this add action and once this add action is saved then it will prompt for folder path in folder path just add the folder path this is the destination path where this file will be copied and then uh, choose the file name to choose the file name uh, just click on this text box go to the dynamic content type file name select file name with extension and same uh, for file content for choosing the file content just click on this text box go to the dynamic content type body and just select the body and this is the last step now save the complete flow this is how the flow will look like when a file is created or modified uh, then another action is uh, get file content and then the last action is the create file action now save the complete flow and run the complete flow to test this flow what you need to do you need to go and modify the existing uh, file in the document library and uh, uh, once this file is modified or added in that particular document library uh, and this flow will automatically trigger and it will copy uh, that same file uh, from that document library to uh, C drive resume location that is the location for your on-prem server. Thank you for watching this video. In case you like this video, do like and subscribe my channel.